in Calais, displaced people are living outside in destitute conditions, often in fields and woodlands around the roadside. They are forced to create makeshift camps out of tents and tarps to see through the cold, wet nights. On top of this, they are subjected to disrupted and often aggressive police clearances on a regular basis. But what is a police clearance? The clearances are carried out by the Police Nationale, CRS or Gendarmerie, along with members of the Prefecture, cleaning agents and sometimes police au frontier. They form a perimeter around the settlement and then enter the perimeter, forcing everyone to evacuate the area, leaving people with very little time to gather their belongings and shelters. Clearances usually take place in the early hours of the morning, often whilst the state breakfast distribution is taking place, forcing individuals to choose between getting food or keeping their belongings. This obviously creates a sense of anxiety amongst the communities, with many reporting constant stress as they never know when the police are going to come to take their shelter in tents. This has a major impact on their ability to sleep at night. In a survey by Refugee Infobus carried out in August 2018, 57% of respondents stated that they slept less than four hours a night and 75% less than five hours. The people living in the camps are often young men. However, we are seeing an increasing number of families with women and young children who have experienced varying degrees of trauma and isolation as a result of fleeing their homeland for a better, safer life. The stresses that come with being homeless and displaced have a major impact on the mental health of these people. This paired with the loss of their most basic possessions, constant disruption and a lack of sleep are diminishing people's ability to cope. Please share, inform and campaign for the rights of refugees living in northern France.